Ever wondered if the conditions you're living in breach certain standards of habitability? Well, you're not alone. Many people live in conditions that are far from ideal, even bordering on uninhabitable. This video is here to shed some light on what constitutes an uninhabitable living condition and help you understand your rights as a tenant. So, what do we mean by uninhabitable? It's not just about a leaky roof or a broken window. We're talking about substantial issues that pose a serious threat to your health and safety. Things like structural hazards that could cause a building to collapse, or a lack of essential services such as heating or plumbing. These issues are not just inconvenient, they're legally unacceptable. And just because you're a tenant doesn't mean you have to put up with them. If any of these sound familiar, it's time to understand your rights as a tenant. Tenants have legal rights that landlords must respect, even in difficult living situations. Let's delve into these rights further, so you can better understand what protections you have under the law. First and foremost, as a tenant, you have the right to live in a habitable property. This is known as the implied warranty of habitability. What does this mean? Well, it simply means that your home should be safe, clean, and fit for living. It should have working plumbing, heating, and electricity. It should be free from pests, and it should have proper locks and windows for security. If these conditions are not met, your property could be considered uninhabitable. Now, what if your landlord isn't maintaining these standards? Well, you have rights in this situation too. In many jurisdictions, tenants have the right to withhold rent if the landlord fails to make necessary repairs. This is known as rent withholding. However, this should be a last resort, and it's crucial to understand the laws in your area before taking this step. You need to make sure you've notified your landlord about the issue, given them a reasonable time to fix it, and documented everything. There's also a third right that might be useful, called repair and deduct. This means that if your landlord fails to make necessary repairs within a reasonable time, you can arrange for the repairs to be done yourself and then deduct the cost from your rent. Again, this should be done with caution, and it's crucial to keep all receipts and records. It's important to note that these rights and laws can vary widely depending on where you live. For example, in some places, you might have additional protections, like the right to move out without notice if your home is uninhabitable. In others, the laws might be more landlord-friendly. So, it's always a good idea to research your local laws or consult with a legal professional if you're unsure. And remember, even if you're in a difficult living situation, it's never okay for a landlord to retaliate against you for asserting your rights. That could mean anything from trying to evict you without cause, to raising your rent unfairly, to harassing you. If you think this is happening, it's essential to get legal help right away. Finally, it's worth mentioning that these rights are not just for traditional long-term leases. Even if you're in a short-term rental, a sublet, or a rent-to-own agreement, you should still have basic habitability rights. Remember, these rights exist to protect you, the tenant, from unfair treatment. So if you're living in a property that's not up to standard, don't be afraid to stand up for your rights and seek the help you need. Knowing your rights is one thing, but how do you go about asserting them? You might be wondering, and rightfully so, it's not enough to just be aware of your rights as a tenant, you must also know how to effectively assert them when necessary. The first step in asserting your rights is documenting the issues. This is crucial. Don't just rely on verbal complaints or promises. Put everything in writing. If there are physical problems with the property, like a broken heater or a leaky roof, take pictures or videos as evidence. Make notes of any conversations you have with your landlord about the issue, including dates and times. This will not only help you remember what was discussed, but it could also be valuable evidence if you end up in a dispute. After you've documented the issues, the next step is to notify your landlord. This should be done in writing and should be as detailed as possible. Describe the problem, how it's affecting you, and what you'd like done to fix it. Be sure to keep a copy of this letter for your records, and remember, it's important to give your landlord a reasonable amount of time to address the issue. What's considered reasonable can vary, but generally speaking, it should be enough time for the landlord to be able to make the repairs. Now what if your landlord doesn't respond, or refuses to make the necessary repairs? 
This is where things can get a little tricky, and you might need to consider taking legal action. But don't worry, it's not as daunting as it sounds. In many places, tenants have the right to repair and deduct, meaning you can hire a professional to fix the problem and deduct the cost from your rent. Alternatively, you might be able to withhold rent until the repairs are made. But remember, these options can come with risks, and it's important to understand the laws in your area before proceeding. Throughout this process, communication is key. Keep the lines of communication open with your landlord and try to resolve issues amicably whenever possible. But also remember to stand your ground. You have rights and you're entitled to live in a safe and habitable home. And finally, keep records of everything. Every letter, every email, every conversation. This might seem tedious, but it's incredibly important. If you end up in a dispute with your landlord, these records can be your best defense. Taking these steps can help ensure your rights are respected and your living conditions improve. It might not always be easy, but it's worth it. Because at the end of the day, everyone deserves a safe and comfortable place to call home. There are some common misconceptions about tenants' rights that can lead to unnecessary suffering. Let's debunk these myths to empower ourselves with the truth. One of the most prevalent misconceptions is the fear that tenants can be evicted without notice for lodging complaints about their living conditions. However, this is far from the truth. In most jurisdictions, tenants are protected by law from retaliatory evictions. This means that if you report a problem, your landlord cannot simply throw you out in response. Instead, landlords are legally obliged to address valid complaints and maintain the property to a habitable standard. Another widespread myth is the belief that tenants must continue to pay rent even if the property is uninhabitable. While it's true that rental agreements generally require ongoing payment, this is contingent upon the property being fit for habitation. If a property falls into a state of disrepair that makes it uninhabitable, the obligation to pay rent can be legally disputed. However, it's important to consult with a legal professional before withholding rent, as the definition of uninhabitable can vary. It's also commonly believed that landlords hold all the power in the tenant-landlord relationship. While landlords do have certain rights, tenants have a multitude of protections under the law too. Tenants have the right to live in a safe, secure and well-maintained property. They also have the right to privacy, which restricts landlords from entering the property without proper notice or reason. Lastly, it's a common misconception that tenants have no say in the renewal of their lease. In reality, most leases automatically convert to month-to-month -month agreements after the initial term, unless otherwise specified. This provides tenants with greater flexibility and negotiating power when it comes to lease renewals. Understanding the truth behind these misconceptions can empower you to take action. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it can be the key to ensuring your rights as a tenant are respected and upheld. Let's revisit the key points we've covered today. Firstly, we clarified the definition of an uninhabitable property. It's a living condition that fails to meet the basic standards of safety, health, and comfort. This could be due to issues like persistent leaks, faulty electricity, or a lack of heating. Next, we delved into the legal rights of tenants. Remember, tenants have the right to live in a habitable property, and landlords are legally obliged to maintain it. We then discussed the process of asserting these rights. This includes notifying your landlord about the issues, documenting everything, and possibly involving legal professionals if needed. Lastly, we debunked some common misconceptions. Notably, tenants can't be evicted for reporting uninhabitable conditions, and landlords can't just ignore these complaints. Armed with this knowledge, you can ensure your living conditions meet the legal standards of habitability.